Hello and welcome to a video tutorial showing you how to embed a PDF file into your Google Sites website. My name is Tyler Osborne. So to do this you need two tabs open. You need your drive as well as the website that you're trying to publish. So let's start in the Google Drive and you need to find the PDF that you're trying to share. So I have mine right down here. It's this one named T. Osborne. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to the share options. One of the most common mistakes that I see on websites that people make using Google Sites is that they embed documents then forget to share them properly. So when people visit your website, this actually means that they see an error and they don't see your document. So let's share this properly. After right clicking and going to the share option, go to, um, go to the advanced options, and then we're going to change it away from specific people. And we're going to change it to it's public on the web. So anybody, sorry, not public on the web, anybody with the link can find it. Uh, we don't want to use the public on the web option because this will allow the uh, search engines to find it and link to it directly. I'd rather use anyone with the link. This means that anyone who visits your website will be able to see the document, but it won't be um, found on search engines. So let's press save. All right, now we can press done and we're ready to share in our website. So we go back to the website. So I want to actually put this file in. And in order to do that, what I need to do is uh, go to the insert button. So if you press the pages or the themes button, you'll have to press the insert button to see what you need. Now you can take a look down here and you see there aren't any obvious options as to how to share this file. So you could, um, you need to do it through your Google Drive right here. So you can click on Google Drive or wherever you wanna share this file, if you double click from Drive is an option like that. Either one of those buttons works, it takes you to the same place. So I'm gonna press from Drive. Now it's gonna bring up my Google Drive and um, this particular one I've worked on recently, so it should just be at my recent option right there. Oh, I'm not seeing it there, that's okay. So I'm gonna search for it. And I remember that it was called T. Osborne. So I'm going to uh, type it like that. There's the file right there. So I'm going to click on it once, and I'm going to press the Insert button. You can click and drag it into your website, but I often find that re uh, results in glitches. So I prefer to click on it, get that blue highlighter on the outside, and press the Insert button like this. And it's just going to plunk the file in, and it'll load it up. So right now, we aren't able to actually view this file any larger. That is the PDF that I was looking for. In order for us to see what it looks like for people visiting our website, we have to hit the preview button. So when I hit the preview button, it's going to load up the whole page as if I was visiting it. I've started to put quite a few files in here, so this page has taken a while to load. So scrolling down, there's our PDF right there. And you can see you can actually scroll through it like this. If you wanted to magnify it, you could. And uh, if we want to see it full screen, we press the arrow and it'll take you to the full screen version of it, just like that. And there, from there, you can print it and you can download it. All right. Uh, to get out of the preview, we just press the X. And that's everything that you need to know. If you like this video, please consider leaving feedback on my website through the Google form, or you can even leave a comment on the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.